Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve puzzle level 830, and this is a special dedication to Judith. Now I have already completed this level without using boosters, but Judith is really having a struggle with this one, and I admitted when I solved it before that I had a little bit of luck on my side. I really watched for opportunities to make color bombs, but I had the opportunities, and sometimes we just don't on this board, and it can go south pretty quickly, well within 12 moves, unless we have some luck. So I'm going to show how to beat this level with canned luck, hopefully. I'm going to bring in a stripe draft combo and I'm going to bring in a color bomb. Let's see what we need to do with this. Now immediately we're going to have some activity on the board, I believe. Yes. This will fill in. We might make some matches and specials just by letting this happen. Uh, this is my first playthrough for recording purposes, as is evidenced by the fact that I'm collecting my sugar drops. Uh, I did review my last um, tape, though, and that's what I'm going off of. So we have 40 moves to clear out 27 jelly and reach 25,000 points. The problem that Judith is having is that um, the specials she's bringing in are put on this bottom area instead of on the top, where they would be more helpful, usually. But notice that when they're all grouped here, I've got these working together. And so that's pretty cool. I can go ahead and use these to clear out all of these ticking time bombs because that's one of the issues. First of all, we need to make sure we get through this before we die. Second of all, we have to clear out everything here. Now, before I actually use these, there's no way that if I take out blue, it's going to affect this. I don't see it happening. So I'm going to take out all blue from the board because, actually, there would have been a way. I could have made and accidentally detonated a stripe and blown this up. Um, but instead, what I did is I worked um, this area here to make some opportunities to have some specials uh, to help me out for this lower area because I'll still have to bust through all of this. So I'm going to use this that was granted to me, this nice stripe draft combo sitting right next to each other. And now I still have to bust through the frosting. Once I bust through the frosting, then I'll have access to everything else. But I've got now 37 moves to do it, and I'm not constrained by these ticking time bombs. Um, and again, there's a little bit of luck. I got lucky in that the striped and wrapped were right next to each other, but it could have been that the color bomb and the stripe were right next to each other. Or it could have been that the color bomb was up here, and I might have been able to coordinate, um, you know, make a stripe and put it with it. Um, it's always a combination of luck and whatever the board uh, presents to you that you find. So let's see if I can make maybe another stripe to go with this. Now one of the ways I focus on this is I look at what colors I have on the board that I don't have a lot of. Like I don't have a lot of blue and I don't have a lot of green, even though the green is kind of together here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the green and the blue that I find and try to concentrate down the colors that are there. So do you see how now I have this color bomb? I concentrated the colors. Now it's going to take off, but it's going to take out a color, and we know that color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. So now I've got another special here, and with fewer colors on the board, look at this, I'm constructing a special. You just look for concentrations of color. I can make a stripe, but I'm going to do a wrapped candy because we know wrapped candies will bust through if it's right on this level here. I don't see any other really spectacular moves I could make. I could try to create some specials, but really this is going to kind of blow everything up. So let's focus on what we've got. And now we've got some candy down here. Once we get candy down here, we want to look up here to make sure we don't have any spectacular specials, but then we want to try to make as many moves down here as we can. And they drop straight down. It's like an invisible portal system, so we can see what's going to be occurring. I'd love to get an orange there, but eh, I just don't see that happening. Uh, but I can do this and maybe pair it up. Here we go. So I've got this nice striped wrapped combo that'll open up everything else over here. And now I can make a striped candy. We, Judith was talking about not being able to make many color bombs. If I have the opportunity to make a stripe here or a stripe here, I could see if I could get maybe a red here or a red here. I don't see that as a strong possibility. I also don't see getting an orange to drop down here as a strong possibility. So instead of focusing on that, I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, just any old special here. Oh, look at all of that orange. I'm just going to hold off though and I'm going to do this. Open things up a little bit more. As things slide down. Now see, I set off a special, but that's good. It opened things up. 
Now I could do this and try to get a red down here and it looks like it'll work. So here's another thing. I'm using this portal system, this invisible portal system. I've got red here. I need a red right here, but I've got it. All I have to do is match this up and I get that red. Unfortunately, there was a red right there. <laughs> um, but that's the, the type of thing that you look for. You just have to be a little more awake when you're doing it so you can notice it before you send it off. Could I get a purple right here? Maybe. If I do this, maybe I can drop a purple down. No, nope, not going to work. But at least I'm giving it those tries because, you know, you, do, you what's the saying? You make 0% of the, uh, the attempts you don't try. So you have to keep trying until something works out. All right, now I'm going to do this, which is going to strike this, which is going to open all of this up. And then I've got two more moves, and I can get this and this. And now I just have one left to do. This is going the wrong way. Uh, so I need something up here, maybe. I like all of this red over here. Oops, hello. Let's do this. Okay, so I can make a wrapped candy. I've got a ripe, uh, a red uh, and blue wrapped striped combo, but it doesn't reach down here. But I might send it off anyway, just to change what's happening here, because I don't have a lot going on over in this area. Oh, here we go. Now this one, I don't have another red <laughs> right next to it, so it should be good. There we go. So that's how I'm going to beat this level. I brought in boosters. This was my first playthrough uh, this time round for recording purposes, trying to help with figuring out if it doesn't work to, um, to be able to make your own color bombs, and especially in 12 moves for those ticking time bombs. If you can't get it all coordinated, then bring in some boosters to help you. And if you guys need to know how to collect um, boosters, uh, collecting your sugar drops to get your free boosters, go ahead and let me know. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. And Judith, I hope this helps.